Hi everyone, welcome to another Amanda Adams Auctions Overview. Uh, we'll be talking about the auction coming up on Monday night, the 1st of April. That's right, April Fool's Day is when we have our auction. Our viewing for that auction will be on Saturday, the 30th of March, 11am to 4pm, and on Monday, the f uh, 1st of April, uh, 12 noon to 6 o'clock, and the auction will start at 630 just a, f a few uh, items we'll talk about, just give you an overview of what's in the auction. We have a very large collection of uh, artist signed books, illustrated books, ephemera, signed letters, a large collection of uh, watches, toys, uh, interesting artworks throughout the auction as well. Um, there's uh, Norman Lindsay's, there's John Percival's, Robert Greve, um, there's a large amount. I think the Norman Lindsay's are over there. There's a rare Henry Moore as well. In the auction we have a large amount of estate jewellery. Uh, starting from this cabinet, if you can get an overview. Right through the other cabinet there. There's about 80 lots of estate jewellery in the auction. Also, more highlights in the auction. Uh, a large collection of sterling silver. Throughout four or five various cabinets, there's about 40 lots of sterling silver from two different estates. If you have a look in the cabinets there. Also in the auction, we have got uh, about 15 pieces of uh, Lalique throughout the auction room. If you have a look in the cabinet there, you can see some of the Lalique pieces, some of the estate jewellery down there as well. There's uh, some more pieces of rare Troika pottery uh, in these cabinets and some rare pieces of 60s uh, Bernard Rook uh, pottery, also a famous English studio potter. Some of the artworks that I really like in the auction, of course, will be the Percivals, but you can scan through them. They're, that's X-rated. Don't have a look at that. Uh, Philip Davy. There's two early works from 1991. And if you scan behind you in the rooms, along on the wall here is one of our favourite works in the auction. A rare work, a 1952 work by Robert Greve. And this is depicting Victoria Market. So it's obviously still holds as a Dick Market in 1952. And along here there's more works. Uh, along here rare works here. Um, just scan your way through, you can have a look. I'm holding a very interesting piece too in my hand when you're finished looking in that cabinet. A 1930s uh, Pilkington's Royal Lancastrian vase. Unusual design decorated with uh, lions as well. So circa, about, uh, circa 1930-32. And I'll just want to show you some of the uh, sterling silver pieces in the auction. Just along in these cabinets here and this cabinet. We'll have a look at this cabinet. I don't think we've locked it. No. It's a bit of Georgian sterling silver there. Uh, the toddy ladles, also Ge Georgian sterling silver. Some more Georgian pieces of sterling silver. There's Victorian sterling silver. As I said, there was 40 pieces of sterling silver from two various estates in the auction. And interesting, this one's an uh, interesting little uh, badge. Of, I think it's either come from a, um, a cap or a helmet or a badge from a uniform. It says Westmoreland 55 China on it. So all those medallion and medal collectors uh, we've got those for you. There's also some more boxed medallions from about 1885. Have a look there. Yep. And this is a very nice work coming up in this cabinet. Let's close this over on this side of the wall. We might as well scan the room. This is the work by Henry Moore. A rare 50s work, coloured engraving, signed and numbered, and full documentation on the reverse of the work as well. 
exhibited in London, I think, in about 1960. Another thing I have to show you, which I find really interesting, and undervalued as well, is this early uh, to mid-Victorian, probably 1850, 1860, burl walnut dressing table. And look at the condition of it. It's been fully restored. It was purchased from Acorn Antiques about 25 years ago. And the estimate's very low. It's a great time to buy the, these sort of items at the, time, at the moment when, they, when they're quite, not quite fashionable as they used to be. We've got an estimate of six to $800 on a piece that would have fetched $5,000 10 years ago. And there's also the matching wardrobe on the other side, if you can see that. That's got an estimate of two to three hundred for the Burl Walnut Break Front uh, wardrobe. And over this side of the room, we have uh, got our oriental pieces as usual. Lots of interesting oriental jade, ivory pieces, um, 18th and 19th century Chinese ceramics. All throughout the auction there are interesting things, uh, as always. And over on this side of the room, just when we start the auction, we always have some interesting items as well. Some uh, uh, rare photographs from Paran City Council, 1910, the tug-of-war team. And this is really interesting. Um, bird's eye maple frame with the original map of an auction sale of Cremorne, Richmond. I'd imagine it's probably 1880s, maybe even a bit earlier. So they're all the sites that went up for sale in that auction on the January the 31st. We don't know which uh, year it was, but it was definitely in the 1880s. Over on this side we have also a rare uh, retro, or maybe late deco, light fitting. This one's Italian. Um, probably 19, late 30s, or maybe a, a, a straight after the war 40s. Stunning piece, in lovely condition. Estimates 100 to 200 dollars. And over on this side we have to show you some more rare things. Uh, this one's fully working, a 1927 uh, Enzyme movie camera with the original case. And this belonged to an ex-mayor of Fitzroy. So, excellent provenance in this one. Some more cameras over there, as well. Let's see if we can put this back. Oh, this is a, a, another interesting thing. I'm not sure if it's Amanda's favourite item, but I find it was quite unusual, very rare. Six, 1960s uh, Go Go Girl drink mixer. And the original owner has had it fully restored and it's operational in working condition. So where are you going to find another one of those? Only at Amanda Adams Auctions. Okay, we'll finish up here. We'll just give you, we've given you a quick overview of what's in the auction. Um, our uh, viewing, of course, for the auction will be on uh, Saturday, the 30th of, of April. That's right, Easter Saturday, 11 to 4. Um, and Monday, Easter Monday, or April Fool's Day, 1st of April, uh, viewing will be 12 noon to 6 p.m. and the auction will start at 6.30. The catalogue, the auction movie, uh, the photographs will all be on the website about a week before the auction, so have a look, and hopefully you'll turn up for our auction. See you then. Bye.